Hey guys, welcome back to the next video. This time we are looking at the TLM 12-S's. These are the silent balance fans from Thermalrite. They are the ones with the infinity mirrors. So let's get into it. Okay, so this is the TLM 12S's from Thermalrite. This is a 50% fan speed. These are very, very quiet. This is 100% fan speed. Even at 100%, they are very, very quiet. Right then, so when it comes to the overall uh, thermals now, what I've done is I've put it on to the Inwin MR360 AIO, and I've just put the fans on. But what I've done is I've pushed my CPU to 200 watts, which the CPU I'm using is a 5900X. Now, I've run my basic four benchmarks, Cinebench, Blender, Classroom Blender BMW and 3D and 3D Mark CPU test. So when it comes to the Cinebench, the idles are 27 with a max of 78. Blender Classroom, the idles are 27 with a max of 76. Blender BMW, the idles are 27 with a max of 75. And 3D Mark CPU test, the idles are 27 Celsius with a max of 61 Celsius. Right, so You've seen the, the thermals, you've also seen how they look with the, all the RGB as well as the infinity mirrors. Now, what I'm going to say at this present moment, these fans are £6.95 a fan, which, considering that the alternative fans from, say, Lee and Lee, some of them are like £25 a fan, which is ridiculous, but where Thermalrite does it better, I'd say, is they have the standard ARGB with the st standard PWM connectors, but there's no fancy connector, which I hope that they do bring out in the future because I got a feeling that's the standard that's going to end up going to. But they perform well. Uh, I've had this CPU at 205 watts before and it has crippled AIOs in the past. It's crippled a lot of CPU coolers. So these fans definitely do push a lot of air. Now, because of the overall size difference, they are a little bit wider. And there's only one way you can put them on the radiator, and that's with the infinite mirror by here showing. Because there is a tiny bit more of a uh, length when it comes to the infinite mirror. It makes it a little bit wider, so you can't put it in any orientation you want. That is the only way you can actually put it, which is a downside. But if you put it in a case, then of course there's, you know, if it's a big case, then you shouldn't really have a problem. But with small foam factor builds, if you're going to have one of these, at, let's say at the back, you would have to have the infinity mirrors situated where they aren't intruding because it, like I said, does come out a little and it will end up causing friction, especially with small foam factor builds. It will end up causing you to have problems with certain sizes because that little bit of space and small form factor builds will definitely come to something you really need so 
that is one thing you've got to uh, really remember with these fans. But I think seven quid for a fan, I think it's really good. Like I said, they perform well. They are absolutely silent, even at 100%. I would go to as good as I would personally have these in my system. And as you know, you guys know, I am not very fond of anything that's really loud. But these fans are amazing because they're very, very quiet, but they push a lot of air. Now, when they're on an AIO, the fitment is so tight that no air can pass through anything except through the radiator. That is one good thing I'd say about this, but please bear in mind that they are a tad wider than normal fans. So make sure that you bear that in mind. As for buying them if you wish to buy them they get my recommendation and my stamp of approval like you know me i love my rgb there will be a link down below where you can buy one buy them i will be making sure to buy more of these because i'm really considering of putting them in my own main system that i use for editing because they are that good but one downside is a cable management <laughs> but what I would also like to say is make sure you guys don't forget to subscribe because if you've seen a picture on my YouTube, I have just received six products from Cooler Master. They want me to make mid-range build and they wanted me to do some product placement and stuff like that. And I've got loads of stuff coming, Thermal Right, Thermal Grizzly. I've been assured with different uh, collaborations with different brands i am always on the lookout for new brands to work with so make sure you subscribe for that and as always i hope you guys have a fantastic week and weekend ahead of you this is richard from welshie tech good bye